people deluded. Arsenal 5, Aston Villa's under 18s 1 and it's a convincing win and I'd say now our season truly starts for the under 18s. I say truly starts because sadly last week we lost to a, a we lost to Chelsea. There's no shame in losing to Chelsea opening day. We fought hard. It wasn't meant to be. Our inexperience kept, um, paid in that game. It is what it is, man. And these are the lessons a lot of young players are going to have to learn. But we bounced back, like I said, 5-1 victory against Aston Villa. For me, this season, for the under-18s, out of all the teams, obviously I like watching the first team and I love watching Arsenal's first team and whatnot. But the under-18s, I can't put my finger on it, man. These young players, I like to see them develop. And I feel, especially within the last couple of years, there's been something very special in the water. Probably, we're always going to bring through talented players, but I would say... Whatever age group or year that Tyrese John Jules, the departed Vontae Daly Campbell and Amici are, that little age group there, um, the ones below them and the one just above them, some quality players. So for me, I want to win the FA Youth Cup, for instance. Saka is eligible to play in that when it comes, when, when, when we're obviously in that. I wouldn't want him to play because I do think when you've elevated to the level he has, potentially other players can benefit from it the opportunity that, um, that he's left, obviously. But Chelsea used Callum Hudson-Odoi under similar circumstances, so if called upon, I would. But, um, yeah, man, I want, us to, I want us to do well. I think our under-18s have some good players. I think the under-16s next season um, will have some quality players in there as well. Um, nice to see the young, I forgot his name, the young Romanian lad as well um, that we signed. But if I look at my notes... I feel it was a good. The game had a good tempo to it, not just from an Arsenal perspective, but from an Aston Villa perspective too. There was a good, um, a good tempo to it. I would say, uh, at degree of degree of sounding bias, I feel Matthew Dennis looked all right. I feel um, Kiddo Hart Taylor looked all right. Ben Cotterill, Arsenal's very own Jay Mil James Milner in the engine room getting busy. Aziz doing his thing. We look like we're up for it today. I won't lie, it does look like Villa can score because on the break they are doing things. Young schoolboy uh, Mon Louise has been equal to everything and I believe early on they broke and I thought they were going to score but Mon Louise showed good positioning, won the ball, ball back and distributed it and I think he's one that could potentially progress through the ranks. Um, just how far he goes um, is on him but like I said before, Defending is naive in several incidences, but he's 15 years of age technically. He's part of the under 16s, playing under 18s. He's gonna have that. I think he's got the great. He's got a great aura about him. I think he's a decent defender. I think he's a good ball player. Um, so it's nice to see him getting opportunities. But he's mopping up and he's actually offering us a lot in terms of ball playing. I feel our whole team is showing confidence. I think um, Ben Cotterill, like I said, getting busy in the engine room. Aziz is spraying some nice passes. Greenwood and Matthew Dennis are doing their thing. Lopez, I think. I think I can't remember if Lopez got concussed at a point, but he had a little head clash. He's looking up for it down his flank. Um, Dan on the right hand side, the young right back, making his first appearance of the season. He's up for it. We're looking decent, people, really and truly. There's a good tempo to the game, like I've already said, people. We're moving the ball around with ease. And what I liked is that. Even the keeper, but let's exclude the keeper, whether it was our fullbacks, our centre halves, our midfielders, or the or the attacking options in the final third, everybody wanted the ball, everybody was confident with the ball, and I saw everybody, it looked like there was a clear plan um when they got the ball. I think we got down the right hand side of us well, our right hand side, their left hand side in particular to great effect as well, people. I think we was we was doing we was doing what we could, people, man. We was like I said, it's easy spraying some good passes and whatnot. We're having some efforts we probably should have done better and whatnot. But 23 minutes in, I think we get our just deserves. Um, ben Cottrell scores a good, well-taken volley. Puts us 1-0 one -nil, one -nil ahead. Um, there was also... there was um, Yeah, obviously he done that. But I'm also forgetting Ben Cottrell, Cottrell sorry, played a lovely pass to Kiddo Hart-Taylor. And, and I've seen Kiddo put these these chances to, to bed at, at under-16s level. He missed. I was like, huh? How? But these things happen. Uh, like I said, Ben Cottrell to put us in the lead with a, with, with a good volley. Shortly after as well, he got his second. I can't even remember who pl played him the pass, people, if it was Aziz or someone else. But whoever played him the pass, it was a lovely pass from deep. Ben Cotterill made a lovely run off the ball. He meets the pass. The offside, track is, offside trap is beaten. And he puts it home. It's 2-0, people. We're laughing. And I think he scored two very good taken goals for two different reasons. I feel the volley was a 
sweet one, I swear it was from a corner, can't remember, but it was a good, sweet, sweetly taken volley. I liked the whole combination play for the second, but just when you think them two were good goals, Aziz, for no reason, bangs it from like 20 yards or 15 yards or wherever he is, he might even, I'm poor with my so it, God knows, but it's a long ranger. He has no right to strike from there, and it's top bins, it's a big boy striking. I don't want to put a label on his ears, but I'm keen to see what he looks like by the time he's 18. I do think he's someone that potentially could break through in the Arsenal team. He's obviously young. He's obviously got a lot to learn, but I think he's an Arsenal player through and through, through and through. And his name is, his name's is Miguel Aziz. You can't have a name like that and not be a baller. You can't have the long hair he has and not be a baller. Definitely at Arsenal. So to go into half time at 3 0 um, with with the lead at 3 0 away from home clean sheet Aston Villa have a good academy they've got some good coaching staff they've got some good technically based players and there was a couple incidences they potentially should have scored and we were they weren't between not taking their half chances between us getting lucky and between us I think defending on a calm level we got away with it best possible scenario for the under 18s 3 0 away from home it's looking like we're going to do a thing I feel we started well in the second half, but I do think there was definitely a 10-15 minute passage. I thought Villa were going to get back into this game, people. Um, poor defending early on from us, really. We was having poor. There was poor defensive moments in the second half several times, and like I said, first half Villa were creating some chances, so it, the warning signs were there. It was a sloppy goal to concede, and we went three-one down. I mean, well, they're three-one down. They've ruined our clean sheet. Apologies, people. I won't lie, apart, after that, there was a 10, 15 minute passage, 5 to 15 minutes, because I can't even remember now, where I thought they were going to they were gonna really get back in the game. They was almost instantly after scoring their first, they missed the second, they fired it wide. They were creating some good chances and having some good efforts, and there was a couple goal, goal mark scrambles. I, I actually thought they were going to get two goals, and this was going to turn into one of them crazy games, people, 6-3, 5-3, or whatever. But, um... It's 3-1 at this point. It's 3-1 it's free, it's at this point. I, Villa let themselves down because, like I said, right shortly after having that passage of play, we brought on second-year scholar Alfie Matthews, someone who I like the look of as well. Um, but he's come on and he scored a header. Not instantly, but he scored a header. But it's not a header what you think of sorts. Take nothing away from him, people. It's one of them. I'm the striker. And it's like, I've headed it behind me. And the keeper's ran out now. And he's in no man's land. And it's just gone into the back of the net. I don't feel Alfie Matthews will score an, an easier goal in his professional career. Or has scored an easier goal in his professional career. So he jumps off the bench to make it 4-1. And we're in cruise control. Villa, they're not going down without a fight. They're still trying. But I think... I just I am very pleased with the performance, man to a man. Really, I feel the only thing we can say is we kept no clean sheet and we could have defended better. But we were playing good football. I was liking the bravado from from everybody, from the experienced second year scholars to the first year scholars. I was impressed, people. Obviously, at four one, we're in cruise control. We get we then get a penalty. Sam Greenwood is never gonna miss these penalties. What that's five on five from five from the spot. I think I've seen him miss, but he scored like five in a row or five from the spot. He steps up, he makes it 5-1. And we start to enjoy ourselves now. I think Ogombo as well, another 16-year-old, be partnering Mon Luis at centre-half, who I like the look of. We're starting to show what he can do on the ball. He's bringing it forward and stuff. I really like him. I'd like to see a bit more bravado in his play. Be a bit, a, 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 health, be a, a healthy touch more full of yourself. Because I think he's he looks like someone that retains information quite well. Someone that looks like a good trainer and whatnot. But I just want to see him be a bit more gassed because he's got the ability to it. He's almost too humble. And that's not a criticism. That's testament to him. I do think our two young centre-halves, between the one of them in, in, in Mon Louise and Ogombo, if one of them don't push on to first team football at some stage or get a chance I feel there's something wrong and um, I think I actually think Mon Louise has more of a chance of making it here than, than Medley to be fair with you that's just me being honest um, and that's not me getting at Medley I just really believe in Mon Louise but end of the day people we won 5-1 we scored the goals we, we've got off the mark for the start of the season we played quite well Our, um, like I said man to a man we done at right back the two centre halves the keeper when called upon Joe Lopez at left back the substitutions that subs that came on i think matthew dennis put in work as well um so it was a convincing performance and we've started the season in the right way now obviously we lost to a good chelsea side and these things happen we will lose again this season but we're off the mark for the season and personally i want it to be a season to remember for the under 18s i want us to win the fa youth cup people i'm not going to lie to you lot. pardon me i believe we've had the talent here for a couple of years to do it 
We've just got to be a bit better in terms of game management. Of course, there's tough Chelsea sides and Manchester City sides. And based on last season, we, we won the league and got to the final. Well, not the FA Youth Cup, but we got to the final via winning the league. We played a tough Derby side. So there are some tough sides out there. But I believe in us, man. On that note as well, I'd love to see us retain the league title. We should be trying to do a treble or something of sorts, people, in that... We win the league. We win the league from winning the league from South. I think you technically play another region. I would like to win that competition. So that's two trophies, people. And I want the FA Youth Cup. I believe the squad's here to do it. I, I believe we've got the perfect blend of second year scholars and first years to go after all three trophies. I'm not naive. We probably won't win them. But there's no excuse for two of the three can't happen. Because last year it was a good season for 23s and 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 the under 18s. And, and we finished quite respectable in terms of end of season rankings. And we got quite far in competition apart from the Czech or trade if I remember correctly and um, for the 18s I'd like to see them obviously win the Czech or trade and do do well in that and win the beat uh, defeat Everton to win in the league title this time round I think 23s football is a graveyard and I prefer under 18s football admittedly people but you can only deal with what's immediately ahead of you so yeah on that topic though I'm gonna get out of here so people deluded stay safe I'm out man thank you for watching and rocking as usual